black spots right in the center of the circle of vision that we never see, where the optic nerves join the back of the eyeballs. We overlook them, we, we don't notice them. We fill in the detail from what we can see all around. When Steve told me that Jenny had parted with him, I, uh, I got straight into the car and I drove over there. I, I, I could have phoned him, I guess I could have emailed him, but I want to hear from his own mouth. I wanted him to tell me. I wanted to know what had gone wrong. So I got there and there was this for sale sign outside and on a post in the front garden. I said, you're selling the house? And he said, yes, that's why there's a for sale sign on a post in the garden. I began to think maybe the email or phone would have been better. I said, where's Jen? <laughs> he said, uh, she's got to stay with her mother until things are sorted out. I wanted to ask what went wrong, but I wanted more for him to tell me without my asking. What he didn't tell me was that he was planning to go away. Uh, the first I heard about it was uh, about a fortnight later when, when Jen called. Steve's body had been found in Scotland. Uh, this was a man... He lived in the south, in south of England. He had no business in Scotland. What was he doing in Scotland? Uh, he'd lived up north. Uh, well, he had unfinished business up there, I suppose. Um, I guess business isn't the right word. Okay, I'll tell you. Petra. Petra had lived up north, and he had unfinished business with her for about 30 years. I, I knew they hadn't been in touch for about a decade or more, and before that it had been a decade or more, and about a decade before that we'd all been great friends. Um, I knew when I thought about it that they were due for another episode soon, getting to that point, but, well, I knew he was ready. Uh, Petra and I hadn't kept in touch, <laughs> Petra. Uh, there was nothing in that you know, she and I got on fine. It was just that we didn't need to keep in touch, not even once in a decade. It just, it wasn't necessary. We, we didn't think about each other all over the years or in between. When Facebook came in, we all got in touch, but not Petra and I, and not Steve and Petra. I guess Steve had been thinking of Jen. Uh, Steve thought about Petra, though. I knew that he thought about her all the time. He thought about her every day, because I, I saw him regularly, right? I, we met up several times a year. We caught up, as they say. Uh, he'd ask about Petra as if he expected me to know. I haven't heard from her, I'd tell him, not for ages. Petra preyed on his mind. I knew that. She never married. She came close to it once. I'm not sure if she ever knew how close. Well, I guess she knew how close. <laughs> the time hadn't been right, though, is what I heard. Uh, Steve missed the boat, and, and I, I guess he caught another one instead. And after that, he was playing catch-up for the rest of his life. The last time I saw Steve alive uh, is that time I went over to find out if Jen was still around. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked her, but I, I didn't. Uh, besides, what difference would it have made? There was an inquest. <coughs> Misadventure was the verdict. Uh, exposure was the cause of death. Um, Jen identified the body, like a paper doll, she said. Uh, he'd been living rough, they said, for a little while. There'd been no long, slow deterioration. He just found his way up into the moors, or whatever they call it up there in Scotland. Uh, drunk a bottle of whiskey, probably in the sun, and uh, took off all his clothes, and he wandered off, and being that it was May, he froze to death. <laughs> But there was no letter. The, the balance of his mind had been mentioned, but he, he was going through a divorce, after all. But again, the S word, right? I, I didn't see it. The inquest were reluctant to make that statement, unless it was absolutely certain. How did he get there? Jen asked. Why did he go? I wanted the answers to these questions, too, but I... I guess that's why I went to see Petra. <laughs> I haven't seen him for years, she said. I didn't know he'd moved to Scotland. He hadn't moved to Scotland, I said. What was he doing there, she asked. Well, that wasn't the question I wanted to tell her. Was he on holiday, she asked. No, I said she, she didn't seem very upset. In fact, she didn't seem upset at all. Well, what are you doing up here anyway, she said. I came to see you, I told her. I came to tell you about Steve. 
I could see the surprise on her face, but I think she almost said, why? But she didn't. I could see she was thinking it, though. Why would you come all the way up here to tell me about Steve? He was the love of your life! I wanted to tell him. That's why you never married. You were the love of his life, is what I ended up saying. Was I? <laughs> I didn't believe it. What, was, was she saying she didn't know? I didn't know what to say. I, she, he told me so many times over the years. He told me she was the love of his life. She told me he was the love of hers, her circumstances. That's what he told me. That's what kept him apart. Love, he used to say, isn't about what you do. It's about how you feel. We'd get around to it at the end of our conversations. We were on the last glass of wine after a, a meal. We used to meet like a couple times a year, go off somewhere remote, stay in a good hotel. Uh, we'd have a good meal. It wasn't maudlin, anyway. It was, it was more nostalgia. A couple whiskeys later, we wouldn't get drunk, just sentimental. We'd talk about the past. That's what he'd tell me about walking away all those years before. One little mistake, he used to say, a turn to the left instead of the right, and you're off the path for good. Love, he used to say, is something you only have to recognize. Once you've done that, it never goes away. You only have to know. You must have known, is what I said to Petra. But I hadn't seen him. I only saw him a couple times in the past few years. You hadn't forgotten him, though, I said. No, of course not, she said. We had some good times. Back then we were all together. But since then, I wanted to ask her, you, you hadn't thought of him once? He, he thought about you all the time. I wanted to tell her. He thought about you every day. Every day. I often remember those times, she said. Are you still in touch with Sandra and Jack? <laughs> she said no more. I couldn't bring myself to ask her outright. See, Petra's unblinking eye, that's haunted me, her mouth, as if she was about to whisper or smile. And often I've thought about since how easy it is to be mistaken. Thank you.